This episode is sponsored by the Take My Hand store. like you you're a pathetic little schoolgirl. I use you you want to know why because you look about as clueless as you are <laughs> I knew I could do everything I needed to do right up under your little nose mm -hmm. and you wouldn't even notice it <laughs> girl you're a fucking idiot Kyle would never love you the way that she loves me <laughs> bitch I got your fucking idiot oh you I got right? your weak no Kyle. I got that money I got I that because I got something that'll sit that ass down real quickly bitch don't fuck with me why the hell are you even here I don't love you anymore. That shit died when you almost killed me, bitch. But baby, you know I didn't mean none of that stuff. I'm sorry. I was just mad. <laughs> bitch, you crazy. Courtney, I got this. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Because that will blow your fucking head off. You remember that time when we fucked? What? You remember that time? When I left hickeys all over your neck so we could show you? <laughs> well, let's just say she got one good thing going with her. Because that pussy tastes so good on my lips. I can, I can explain. Oh, wait. You never even tasted it, huh? God, listen. <laughs> listen, I can That's a damn you. shame because it was so good. We were drinking and she... Uh, See, look, Kai. I'm the only one that'll ever love you. And I'm the only one. I'm the one that... Who is that at the door? I don't know. Who is at the I door? I don't know. What the fuck is going on here, Kai? Courtney, what are you doing here? Oh, it's so nice for you to join us, sis. And hey, Mumu, what are you doing here? You're not even supposed to be 50 feet around my sister. You know what? Don't even worry about it. I'm about to call the police. Oh, no, that's not even necessary. I was just about to leave. I'm sure this won't be the last time I see you. Good night, everyone. I can't even believe you. Hi, I'm so sorry. You need to leave. You need to leave. No, you need to leave. You can go. And I see you first thing in the morning. Hi. What happened? Not now, Layla. Split a couple wings. I caught a couple, made the motherfuckers disappear. And now it's all about the binges, baby. Or me with you. Yo, cousin. What's up? What's up, man? What you doing here? Man, shit. I'm just chilling, man. I came from this little shorty house around the corner. I would ask how you doing and what you been up to, but I already know. Shit, man. You already know. Yeah. Shit, but how that you? She doing good, man. You know, same old, same old. Hey, yo, man. You got a play, fool. Hold on, real quick, though. All right. What's up, you need some? Hey, um, I'm looking for one. Hey, that's me. What's up? Hi. Right. My homie, she said, let me come to you pick up some. What's her name? Tyler. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. Hey, man. Hey. 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 Hey
Ground that we walk on, hope we don't stay long. Kelly, steady throwing caution to the wind. Really be enemies, calling them friends. Cause be way deeper, they come from your kin. Damn, stay tuned to the greatest story that's been ever told. Leave you in all, get you involved. Stuck in your seat as the story unfolds. Choice, yeah, we know you got options. Choice, now let's get it poppin'. Choices, what do I do? Everybody's wanting something I just want that one thing What do I choose? And you know we all got choices And I got options What do I do? When everybody's wanting something I just want that one thing What do I choose? But we know we all got choices Really, Mari? I'm standing in front of you, in, naked, in this living room. And you're gonna ignore me for the fucking door? Yeah, because someone's knocking. So, I'm your fiance. Fuck whoever that is. You should probably wrap up. I would hate for just anybody to see you naked. I hate You know what? It doesn't even matter. You can come in and have a seat. Okay. Now, do you have anything to say at this point? I know you're probably wondering about last night. And I really can explain you that. You know what? Andrew. I really don't want to hear it at this point. Now, I want to make myself very clear. I trusted you, Courtney, to watch over my sister, right? But, Mrs. Andrews. Right? Yes. And now I'm having a hard time understanding why I found you, my sister, and her ex with a gun. And you felt the need to lie to me about your plans for that night. I trusted you. And with all your lies, you endangered my sister. I, I really don't understand. But you know what? 
At this point, you can get your things and you can go. Your service is no but, longer needed but at this Mrs. point. Andrews. I oh. really need this. I, I don't want to hear it. I only problem. have one semester left before I graduate. Okay, that's not my problem. My sister But is, please. I don't care. So it's either you can get your stuff and go, or I'm going to call security. Your choice. Goodbye. I really can explain. I don't even care at this point. My sister is my problem. Goodbye. I really am sorry. And you're sorry I got my sister killed. Goodbye. The nerve of people. Spend the holidays with me? No, I don't know yet. I'm waiting to hear from my mom. You really want me to be with you, huh? Man, of course I do. I ain't ordered decorations for nothing. They Dec coming later today. Decorations? Yeah. I'm gonna enjoy watching you put them up, man. <laughs> you might as well go back home. Go back home, not go out. Hello. Yo, what up, chump? What's up? Hey, man, nothing. I'm chilling. Hey, I need to holler at you about something real quick. You by yourself? Nah, I'm with my girl. I'm with Naki. What's up? Listen, it's about Brisa. So I don't know if you want to talk about it around her. All right, hold on real quick. What's wrong with me? I'm about to. What's up, man? Bro, how about I seen Bree last night buying drugs off of MLK for my cousin, man? You know, no, it was her? Man, I know with Bree looked like and it was definitely her. I even tried to call Savannah, but she didn't pick up, so I left her voicemail. That's why I called you. <laughs> That's a funny shit. No, <clears throat> for real though. Listen. What you expect me to do? What Captain say for her? What ain't got nothing to do with that? You did the right thing. You called the best friend. You told her. Let Ben on it handle it. Like she made her decision, I made mine. Like she ain't got nothing else to do with I'm gone though. Uh, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Uh. <sighs> okay. Okay. Everything okay with Slim? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, but yeah. Everything will be good. Let's go on and get some ice cream. I got a sweet tooth. Ice cream? You know how that be about. Baby, uh uh, it's already cold enough. I don't want no ice cream. I don't want some ice cream. You gonna keep me warm in? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you came. Oh, yeah. I need these braids taken out. Oh, I got you, Willie. You lucky I like you. Who you over there brushing? Sophia. I'm trying to get her together for my client. What you been up to? Mm -hmm. Client of your little second life. I know you be out here freaking. <laughs> what they got going on in there? I've been gone for literally a day. Hey, Jordy. What you up to? Where's your mom? Hey, I'm sorry about that. I'm here last night. I didn't see it because you too. Oh, it's okay because they're so adorable. Thank you, thank you. I'm Gary. And this is Amir. Well, nice to meet you and nice to meet you too, Amir. I'm Simone. Nice to meet you, Simone. Quick question though. Uh, do you have any kids? <laughs> what? Why would you ask that? Because Amir doesn't really approach anyone. Like it must be something about you. I guess you can call it a maternal instinct. <laughs> okay, okay. I see that you're married. Your husband must be a very lucky man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lucky. Yeah. That she is. Um, I need to take this call. Cool. It's my life. Hello? Where you at? Um, I stopped by the shop to get my braids taken down. Wow, what's up? I mean, how long you gonna be? You need to come home. I got somebody I need you to meet. Uh, I should be home in a few. How long they gonna be there? Simone, if you don't bring your ass home, girl. Okay, fine. I'll be home shortly. Alright. I'm 
Sorry about that. What were you saying? Being late anyway, it's hard to take their own, so. It's a pleasure to meet you. It was a pleasure meeting you too. Thank you. Um, hope to see you around soon. Me too. Alright. Bye, Mir. So cute. Girl, what was all of that about? Girl, you know I'm married. Wow. So what are we doing to this hair? wig in the car because um Cree expect me to be home soon. I don't know how that's gonna happen. Yeah, I need a moment of your time. Okay, let me finish stretching. I'll be right there. Now, Jazz. What's up? Why didn't you tell me someone called me last night? Matter of fact, scratch that. Why the only reason why I knew she called me was because of the voicemail she left. Apparently her call mysteriously disappeared from my phone. Man, I know you mad. But why does she even feel so comfortable calling you so late? Yeah, I know I deleted the call, but I don't trust her. I seen the way that she look at you. Man, she might even have a secret motive or something. I don't know. You don't trust her? Well, maybe I shouldn't trust you with you going through my phone and shit. And if she did, that has nothing to do with me. I've told you on more than one occasion, we are just friends. That's it. And as for her calling so late, was to tell me some shit will breathe. Not to violate our relationship or to disrespect you, but to tell me some shit that yet again my best friend is keeping from me. Look, I'm sorry. I just don't want you around her, period. I'm sure whatever you got going on with Bree, you can handle that without her. Are you listening to yourself right now, Jazz? For real? What have I even done to make you feel like this? Please tell me. I don't even talk to her. We don't even associate each other like that. I told you that. So why are you so threatened? You know what? I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm done. I gotta go. I gotta call Slim. So you gonna choose her over me, Savannah? <sighs> Savannah, if you leave, I can't promise we'll still be together. Word. Got something for that. Which way to follow? These days I'm feeling hollow. Self esteem is low. And that's all because of you. Look what you made me do. You're taking every piece of me, and you know that it's true. So who you lying to? You thought I never knew. Tell me what you're trying to prove. What the hell are you doing? Damn, Bree, you really letting yourself go. No, I'm just tired. What happened to you last night? You were supposed to come over. I'm here now, right? Yeah, but... Okay, then. All right, let me go put on some clothes, and I'll be ready just for you. <laughs> You're dressed for what? You ain't going anywhere with me. What are you talking about? I thought that was the reason why you came over here. <laughs> no. Actually, I came over here to tell you that I'm done with you. We have fun, but it's over. Hold up. What about me? I love you. You the reason why I'm on this shit. One, I never told you I loved you. Two, see, you ain't nothing but a crackhead. And you're getting sloppy. And for that reason, sweetheart, I don't do crackheads. See, I just wanted to have some fun with you, Bree, you know, spice your life up. 
but you don't know how to function. So I gotta go. But like I said, it's been fun. No. No. You can't leave. No. No, I love you. No. No. Okay, I, 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 I can function. Okay? Just give me a second chance. Bray. I can function. Bray. Please. You're embarrassing yourself. Please. Bray. Please. Bray. You can't leave me like this. Bray. No, I love you. It's too late. No. No. But I no. tell you what. Get yourself clean and hit me up. I'll be around. Time's sake, hmm. Oh. Hey, Tyler, Tyler. No, don't go. No, no, I love you. I fucking hate you. We're not on the same way. I can feel the ocean and it's pulling us apart. Is growing now. I don't know who you are. Why are you doing what you're doing? Don't you know that it's confusing? Boy, you Man, these badass kids better not be playing at my damn door again. Hey, nobody playing on your. Oh, yo, what's up? Yo, my bad. Sorry about all that. Any kids out here stay playing at my door. Well, why are you telling me you was coming through? So I got a call now before I come over? No, I'm not saying all that. I'm just saying, had I known you was coming, I would have cooked something real quick. And we all know your ass cannot cook. Nigga, y'all gonna stop coming for me. I can cook, all right? I just choose whatever, not to because my lady do it. Whatever. Hey, I'll take something to drink, though, like a water. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Come on, man. Well, hey, Angel. Hey, Kai. Mario, I'll see you later. Where do you think you're going? Um, don't worry about it. Well, I guess you ain't going then. Mari, I'm not about to play with you. Angel, I'm not playing. Tell me where you're going. Uh, y'all, hey, y'all need me to leave because I can, I can always come back later, Mari. No, sit down. Since you're so concerned about where I'm going, I'm going to sign. Is that okay with you? Oh yeah, that's cool. Have fun. <laughs> so what was all that about? Man, you know how it is. But you know, hey, what's been going on? It's been a long time since you've been over here, so what's up? Shit, I just needed a break. A break from what? Or should I say who? I need a break from everybody. I needed a break, cause, shh, bruh, check this out. Moo Moo came to my house last night. What? Yeah. What you mean she came to your house? Bruh, I thought you said your sister put a strain on her against that crazy ass girl. And you think she cared about that shit? I mean, so what was she doing there? What did she want? So, Apparently, she came with Courtney. Apparently, they done met each other somewhere and befriended each other, man. I guess for her to get some info on me or something. I, how about they done smashed already? What? Yeah, man. Yo, you tell Pre this shit? Man, I don't even know. Like, Courtney didn't even know who she was, so she thought Moon was a real friend. It, it shit just stupid, bro. Like, now my sister on my ass, cause she tried to check on me at the house, but she don't even know what me and Courtney had going on. It it's just a lot. It's just a whole lot. Damn, it sounds like a lot. Man, speaking of her, here she go call me right now. Answer it then. Didn't I just say I don't feel like being bothered with nigga? I mean, what if it's important? <sighs> if she's not calling to say last night was an April Fool's joke, then I don't want to hear it. Anyway, who you over there texting? Huh? You heard me. See, that's why I don't vent to you. You always get distracted too fast. Man, whatever. But it's, um, <clears throat> Layla. Who? What, man, look. Just say that shit. Stop acting all goofy. I'm not. Look, I'm talking to Layla, but Kai, it's not even like that for real. I'm just telling her about my wedding. We haven't spoke since last year. Man, I don't give a fuck about that right now. Whoa. Hold up. Where did that come from? Man, Courtney just texted me, said she got fired because of what happened. Damn, that's crazy. See, that's the bullshit I'm talking about. My sister keep feeling like she just got to be in my business. She keep treating me like a kid, bro. Like, I did not say fire her. I mean, Kai, maybe she thought that's what was best. I mean, she is the reason why old girl showed up at your house. 
Maybe you just need to talk to your Man, sister. fuck all that. Mama would have still found her way around to me regardless. I ain't trying to hear all that. But I'm definitely going to have a talk with her. All right, let me let me go, man. All right, I'm gonna let you. Just make sure you calm down a little bit before you had that talk with her, all right? Yeah, all right. Hey, is your coworker single though? Man, no, nah, she ain't single. And if she was, I still want to hook you up. You it's, already got too much going but it's on. it's like that? Hell yeah, it's like that. <laughs> man, y'all be blocking. Whatever, man. Damn. Oh. Look at the shit you're going through now. Oh, all right, bro. <laughs> all right, bro. Or was she with somebody? Nah, she was definitely by herself. I mean, acting all scary and shit. She didn't see me though, because I had turned my head when she walked up. So, are you sure it was her? No, I'm, I mean, I'm just asking because it was dark. Yeah, I'm sure it was her, man. Why you and DJ keep asking me the same question? You told DJ? Why did you tell her? I mean, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. You didn't answer the phone, so I was trying to help. So, I swear, sometimes you just don't know what to say. <laughs> Why you playing? I ain't had to tell neither one of y'all asses. I mean, I could have just left her ass to be gone to the damn streets, and then what? Look, you're right, okay? I'm not mad. I'm just frustrated, because once again, I'm out of the loop. And I was just with her. She never mentioned any of this shit to me. I mean, she was acting hella strange when we was together, but... I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Look. It's not you, all right? I mean, you can't be out here taking the blame for the stupid decisions that your friends are choosing to make. All you can do is just be there to help them pick up the pieces. Savannah, you are a good friend. And don't forget that. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Man. So, she was with somebody? She was with somebody, you said, right? She was by herself, or she was, um, I nah. think you said something about, um, with her, somebody, right? Nah. I definitely said she was by herself. By herself, right. She's but, um, I did overhear her say something about somebody named Tyler was the person who told her where to pick up from. I mean, I don't know who Tyler Hold is, the but... fuck up. What? You gotta be shitting me right now. What? Tyler's Bree's new girlfriend. You need to tell me she let this bitch get her strung out? Look, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Wait a minute. So what was she doing at the trap house? You got something you want to tell me too? Uh, no sis. I say no to drugs. But my cousin on the other hand, you know, he... He what? Why are you acting slow? He a pharmacist. So your cousin is Bray's supplier? Yeah, <laughs> that part. Give me his address. Okay, listen, you know I can't do that. Here. Thank you. Alright, well look, don't go out there doing nothing crazy. I mean, I think you should just call her first just to see where her mind is at. You know what I'm saying? Help mm -hmm. her out that way. Thanks. Yeah, alright. I'll let you later. Damn, 
心吗？Hey, do you see her though? Yeah, she leaving now. Yeah, I'm ready to follow her. Alright. Oh. Damn, man, I thought female attitude was bad. <laughs> man, they ain't got nothing on him. But that makeup says though. <laughs> I don't want to hear about that shit. Big, everything. Man. My bad, T. You act like you don't have sex, nigga. I do have sex, but not the type of sex y'all have. I don't know what y'all could be. Matter of fact, I don't even want to talk about this. I don't want to get a visual. Hey, we've been waiting on you. Look, I ain't trying to be seen, so let's get to it. In the meantime, how about we try out this pole? <laughs> um, about that, we can try. Come on, it's easy. Lord, I'll geez. show you. Hold on. Okay. All right. So, wrap the leg. Give yourself a little boost. There you go. And just spin. Wee! Look at you. <laughs> See? Oh, so y'all having fun, huh? <laughs> Hey babe, nah, I was just showing Angel some tricks so that she could show Mari. I mean, that's if she wants to. Oh God. No, she showed me how to embarrass my damn self. That's what she's doing. How you doing, Aisha? <laughs> I'm good, Angel. How you doing? Well, babe, I'm great, though. <laughs> Gotta learn how to wear lipstick, no mix. You look beautiful, by the way, though. Thanks, babe. I'll see y'all later. See you later. Have fun. All right. First of all, I want to say I love how you and HR are so open with each other. I wish me and Mari was like that. I think that she dressed feminine. I bet that's exciting. I couldn't do it for me personally. I like studs way too much. It's not that exciting. I mean, I'm trying to get used to it because I really do love her. But you should see the looks we get when we go out in public. And the attention, it doesn't bother Aisha at all. She just walks around like it's nothing. Sis, y'all are two women dating in 2018. Y'all are bound to get attention. Let that girl wear she, what she wear. And that may be the truth, but it doesn't mean that I have to deal with it. Anyways, enough about me. What's up with you and Mari? What's not going on with me and Mari? <laughs> I just hope it's premarital nervousness because we've just been bickering closer and closer to this wedding and it's getting worse. Well, it could be that both of you guys are young. Maybe y'all should try this. Sit down with her and make a list of all your problems and then work on them one day at a time. I'm down for it. I'll try to get Mari to agree with it. It's gonna be something. But um, can I ask you a question? And you can definitely let me know if it's way too personal. What's this question consistent? Are you and Mari's cousin messing around? <laughs> what made you ask me that? Well, I remember the other day when me, you, and London were out, you guys had a conversation. And I feel like as your wedding planner, I should be aware of these type of things. I need to know anything that can interrupt your big day. Well, what I would say on that matter is a lot has happened in our relationship. A lot that I'm not too proud of. I want to leave it in the past and marry her. Does that answer your question? Yeah, that answers my question, but enough about that. How about we get back to this poll? The pole that you about to kill me on? Girl, you're getting the hang of The pole I can't thing. even breathe still feet from? Oh my god, but once you learn, you'll enjoy it. It's too bad your friend isn't here. She looks like this would be something she'd enjoy. <laughs> and I'm happy she's not here. <laughs> <That one. laughs> 
Anyways, come on, get on so we can try to get you to spin around, get your legs up there. There you go, ah! a natural, swing the hair. See, get it enough time. Murray gonna kill me. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. My wife should be here at any moment. That's totally fine. My wife does the same thing. I completely understand. In the meantime, let's go over the next step to the process. Okay, yes, absolutely. I think that's her right there. Great! Wait, 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 this is my wife, Simone. Hi. Simone, this is Mr. Lawrence. Hey there, is your son so cute? No, yeah. that's our son. What? What, did, what you talking about, Cree? This is who I want to introduce you to, King Washington. Can I hold him? <laughs> If you would like, I could leave King here um, so you guys can build a bond with him. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, please. We would like that. Perfect. Yes. All right. I'll give you a call when I'm on my way back. Bye. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, Mr. Moss. I really appreciate it. No problem. Man. I'll walk you down. So, is this why you wanted to talk about adoption earlier? Uh, yeah. I just, I just want you to be happy. I understand that, but Cree, we just got into an argument about not being ready. This is serious, and we just lost the child. We beat them up. I know, but I also told you that I would help you with co-parenting. I got you. And King don't change that. Co-parenting? Cree, I thought we was working on our marriage. I thought that's what we was doing this whole time. We are working on our marriage, but that doesn't mean that we're not still separating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, I swear, out of your mouth never yeah. seems to, to amaze me. Yeah. Look, yeah. we're not about to argue about this right now. You're right. We can argue about this in private. Yeah. We're not about to argue about it at all. Look, we only got a few hours with Kane. Won't you just enjoy this time and we'll talk about whatever you want to later? Right? This conversation's not over. Girl, if you don't come sit down with your son and your wife, King, tell mommy to stop being mean. Stop being mean, mama. <laughs> and don't go teaching our son your bad habits. Oh, it up. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm doing? We could throw some money if you come out there. Yeah, I really don't know what's going on. I seen this stripper that time. She was giving me some play on her. Damn, she's fucked. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, beautiful? Nothing. I came to talk to her. You sure? Uh -huh. I don't even know your name, pretty lady. You don't need to. But I know yours. You silent, right? You know who at? If it's you, then, yeah. <sighs> Funny. I came to tell you to stay away from my best friend. Your best friend? Who's your best friend? Oh, you know who she is. Hello. Good? Yeah. Right, we're gonna be over here then. So Ben. My 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 I've been waiting for this moment. You know, since Bria told me so much about you, but she forgot to mention how gorgeous you are. Fuck all that. I just came to tell you to stay the fuck away from my best friend. Damn, I ain't no little mama had a babysitter, but to fix this situation right here. I ended things with Brie earlier this morning. You know, she no longer fits my taste in women. Um, no. You are so lucky I'm trying to change my life. Cause I fuck you up where you stand. Ooh, you feisty. I know I chose the wrong best friend. Trust me, baby. You don't want these problems. Yeah, how you know that? Oh, Savannah. You might want to check up on your girl, Brie. Last time I seen her, she by overdose in her room. Bye, Savannah. You cold, man. <laughs> Talk to me. Don't touch me. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get you to hear me out. Hear you out? About what? All there's gonna be is apologies about your hormones, the stress of this plan. I'm just gonna say, baby, it's okay. Baby, it'll be alright, but ain't shit gonna change. I was there for you when you got jumped. Barely knew you, but guess who was right by your side? I'm tired of all the side comments. I'm tired of all the passive-aggressive bullshit. So once all this shit is over, all this shit that I did not sign up for, I'm gone. Don't worry about me no more. Listen, oh. what can I do to fix this? You don't want an apology, right? What can I do? That's the problem. You're not listening. I've been telling you. It's time for you to start showing me. Show me you love me. Show me you appreciate me. Show me, like, something. Show me something. Let me, let me show you. So 
somebody I know by. I can't just be asking. with bipolar depression. I weigh about 200 pounds now, but when I was diagnosed, I weighed about 120 pounds. I was visibly sick. I didn't like myself. I didn't love myself. I barely recognized myself. I vowed that when I got better, I would create an apparel line for people dealing with something similar, self-love. Introducing Message to Self. 